Hello, my name is Franz and today I'm going to show you how to stabilize or respectively devorp titles in Diamond Film Restoration. So first, let's have a look on, on the material. You can see we have here a title uh, which is quite unstable and the first approach normally you would do to stabilize titles like this is use our stub Roy, do, Roy tool and in this case I would give uh, just a uh, region around the letter and I render this so what it would do stub Roy is stabilized based on the region so it would track the region over the time and finds out the <coughs> motion vectors and fix it. Let's play this. We can see now it is stable, the first word, but as you can see, the rest of the image is still uh, quite warping. So in this case, a plane stabilization would not help at all. So what we are going to do now is actually I'm deleting my filter and try it with the new uh, stop tracking or this tracking and the dewarp with the trackings. In order to do this, I go into the timeline, go to tracking, track points. I select the area. It will automatically create tracking points. Uh, a lot of them over the whole image. This is good. So I'm clicking track all. So it will now track all the tracking points over my sequence and as I can go I can see the yellow ones are the tracked ones, the red ones are the tracking points which we lose. Uh, in this case we have more than enough tracking points so that's that's fine so this tracking should work good. So let's wait for this in here. The first frame is okay, so sometimes the first frame is not that good, so I would use maybe as a reference or as a keyframe another frame. So tracking has been finished. Now I go over the track to my filter track. I open again my filter tools and in here I have a filter called dewarp. So I click on that, the dewarp will expand. It automatically connects to my tracker one, tracker one track, this one. If I would set it to auto, then the dewarp would work uh, with internally uh, warping motion detection. In this case, the warping motion is uh, rendered out from, from the tracking information. I can use auto in this case, so the first frame will be automatically the keyframe. If I want to have another keyframe or a multiple keyframe, I just render this, a multiple keyframe, I would go to reference option and I can set one, at least one, or a few frames being reference frames. So the reference frames will never be touched by diamond and this even works with a reference frame in the beginning or a reference frame at the end which would which would allow to devorp just a part of a, of a scene and not the whole scene yeah okay so let's have now a look at the result which looks quite good already so maybe we should do a side by side to that you can see it better Let's zoom in a little bit and let's move this over. So on the left side, we see the original. On the right side, we see now our dewarped title. So it actually looks quite good. We can see here some bumps where there were tears, like on this frame, which the dewarp could not fix. Let's look where it is. No, not here. Um, where um, the dewarp cannot fix such uh, big things like this tear here. But what I could do is I could use now my interpolate tool, 
going to the tool track, select from the tools my interpolate tool. I will select the rectangular, zoom out a bit, and I will draw a region around this. Yeah? So it will automatically refix this. So it looks good. And there was another one somewhere over here. here. And I do the same thing. Here you see audio is not aligned perfectly, so we do another one over here and just correct this because the audio track was moving from frame to frame non-uniformly, which the interpolate cannot handle. So again, let's do a side-by-side -side horizontal. Let's zoom in a little bit. Okay, like this. And let's play. So as you can see now, we have done quite quickly now a fix of the titles here. Uh, we have de-warped it, it's automatically stabilized it, and we have fixed on two, two images uh, the tear. Quite good. Thank you very much for listening to my tutorial.